Hey guys, it's Bill of Ultra, and it's time for more Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Woo! Let's pick our air. How far back can we go? So many lives. Johannes was the legendary knight, so. Could be Sir Ma Maze. Congenital and sensitivity to pain. And size. Sir Spelunky the Shinobi. ADHD. Two left hands can't. Well. Savant. You're very talented with a few issues. This is two left hands that can't cast spells properly. Very talented with a few issues. I'm interested to see what that is, but we just had Lady Sonya the third. The third. You know what? I'll go with Lady Sonya the fourth anyway. Let's exit the matter and see what's going on here. Okay, so our weapon just keeps changing. That's interesting. Oh man, that is damage. Nice. So we have 1881. We have enough that we could get a new rune. But we might want to go with uh, something else. Well, we can't get the gold gain up. That is crazy expensive. Attack up would take most of our uh, stuff now. Haggle, we could learn haggle. We could learn haggle, we could learn attack up. Learn critical chance, but. Uh, Just going to look through all these again. I have a new vault rune. I could put a vault rune on my cape. Hmm. It grants both hit points and magic points. I'm wondering if it's going to do one apiece instead of two. I'm interested enough to find out anyway. And now we have 831 gold left. Can't unlock any of those, of course, but... What can we unlock in the old manor? Uh, just shy of the Charon negotiation skill. Which I'm curious just to see how it works. I mean, heck. Seems pretty potentially worthwhile. Magic damage up will be a good one to do. There are criticals. Yeah, let's do magic damage up. Try again, dust thou even. You've got new equipment, right, too? you got a blood sword. Yeah, it would reduce my health. It would increase my damage. Um, I'd add to the weight and, of course, the whole vampirism thing. Oh, no, I can only double jump. I'll be all right. Well, we'll see how much it uh, affects me this go-round, folks, shall we? Also, be interested to see what the world of Shinobi is like. Alright. Oh, 
Alright, so one mana point and three hit points. So, yeah, it's just a better all-around thing. And, well, no, I guess what? Vampirism gave me two. One vampirism ring gives me two. No, I have five. What do I have now? Charge? Okay, so yeah. It's... Ah, I don't feel like dealing with those eyeballs right now. Shinobi deals a lot of damage. I like it. <laughs> oh, there's a treasure at the end of that other hallway. Now well, maybe I'll work my way back around there. Especially since this hallway doesn't seem like a lot of fun to deal with at the moment. I should come up here and check this out. Alright, the eyeball is not engaged yet. Interesting. I suppose I could kill those guys for more uh, life potions or something, but I mean uh, magic, but no, I don't really need them at this point. Guy was loaded. Oh man, it's Prince again. I wonder why these question marks were in big purple circles. Journal entry number six. I've never liked the dark. I prefer to eat meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself breathing these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I'm the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. And they would not have the balls to survive these halls. Whoa. Oh, well, he's dead. Let's take all of the money that came from him. Alright, I am going to indeed have to go back now and kill those turrets for their life-giving life. Should uh, kill this other guy first, huh? Let's 
going on over here? What's happening in this room, Holmes? This room does not seem terribly exciting. Trash things. Ooh, you eyeballs. Well, okay. I could teleport back to home base. I could peek up here in the Maya, see what's going on. There's a treasure at the end of that room, but let's face it, I'm not getting all the way over there. <laughs> Worth it! And you are a bona fide treasure chest. So I'll take all of your treasures, absolutely. I don't feel like doing any more exploring right now. Not any more adventurous exploring. Let's put it that way. Hmm. like good loot. I won't survive. If I was a dwarf, I could hop over and under, but... Nope. Ah, I should have tried anyways, because if I was just gonna fall over like that. But Lady Sonia, bury me with my money. My... Money. <laughs> nice job, Lady Sonia the Fourth. Lady Sonia the Fourth did a really good bit of work there. I gotta say, she earned a lot of money. She uh, defeated some crazy, not exactly bosses, but you know those rooms where there's like the big bad dude in them. She got some treasure from the tower. That's all fun and games, isn't it? And she left us with a load of money. She made full use of that good siphoning room, and man, it was just a good time to be had by all. Here's to you, Lady Sonia. Jesus loves you more than you could know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned uh, for next time, folks, when you'll see how I decide to spend all this fabulous money. I'm Bobo the Vulture, this is Let's Play Rogue Legacy, and uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.